bread and circuses. Ever heard that little line before? Bread and circuses. Where'd that come from? Who came up with that? Where, what is all this? Is that just a line in Gladiator? I think it was in Gladiator. But... Well, here's where the line bread and circuses came from. You see, rulers throughout the history of mankind have all understood something. They inherently understand something. And when I say rulers, this applies to whatever you want to call people. Call them prime ministers, call them kings, call them dictators, call them whatever you want to call it. The people in charge, the people who run a society, have always understood something. It's just something you get. They have always understood, on some level, they still get to rule with the consent of the governed. And here's what I mean. Like in America, we have a representative republic. So our leaders understand they have to lie to you once every two to four years to try to get reelected about something. They do have to convince enough people to vote for them, and then they'll they, they can't get too unpopular, right? They get that. A king, let's say a Roman emperor, even he understood you can't have too high of a percentage of the population mad at you. You can make a bunch mad. You can make them murderously mad. If that number creeps up too high, people are likely to rebel, likely to revolt. You might lose power. That's where they came up with all that bread and circuses stuff. Make sure you're tossing the people some bread. Uh, put on the gladiator games, something, or chariot races. Give the people something to kind of placate them. Look, okay, they're mad. They're mad. They know I'm a corrupt piece of trash. But we can make that anger a little less. Keep me in power. Bread and circuses. You ha you're experiencing the same thing right now in this country. And this is what you're experiencing. We are a late stage republic, as I've explained. You don't need to feel bad about that, as I've explained that too. We have had an incredible run as a nation. It's been wonderful. And we're not almost done, but as a nation that peaked, oh, that's, that's behind us. We definitely peaked. We're a late stage republic now. We got too rich, too fat, too bored, too lazy. Didn't, didn't stay connected enough to our founding, and now here's what's happening. We have a corrupt bunch of people who run this country from private sector to the administrative state to the elected politicians, and they, none of them have any love of the place, so they're just in it all now to loot it. That, that's all. They all just want to get rich off, the, off your back. They want to loot the treasury, get rich, and relax the rest of their lives. There's no thought to America. They don't care about America. Most of them hate the friggin' place. But that's really all they're doing. And they're enjoying it. But they do understand something. It's just, again, rulers in, instinctively understand this. You can't get too mad, or then they're in trouble. You see, the Department of Justice the FBI, whatever you want to call it, the America's law enforcement apparatus. I would argue the past six years have probably done more damage to America's federal law enforcement arms, DOJ, FBI, all that stuff, than at any point throughout the history of the country combined. The last six years, if there was a graph or something like that, and let's say, let's say support was flat for the DOJ, FBI, whatnot, and, and you were to ask the average citizen, hey, what do you think about the FBI? But nine out of 10 would be like, oh yeah, the G-men, boys in blue. And then about six years ago, it started to go down and down and down and down and down. That's what's happening right now in the country. And the system, they understand those numbers. You see, they're always polling everything, too. They understand very well that your trust level in the justice system of the nation is going this way. Again, I don't care if you're one of the communists who hate watches the show or you're someone who agrees with me. Your opinion on what I just said doesn't matter. What I just said is a fact. Trust in the justice system is going down. It's going down fast. And here's another fact to go along with that. That will end the nation if that continues. You cannot, your, your nation won't continue to exist for an extended period of time if a high enough percentage of the population feels that there, there's no justice to be had. The people will simply revolt, civil war, but what a, pick, your, pick your end, but there will be an end. The nation won't continue, it cannot continue if that trust continues to go down. So let's say you're one of the people in charge. What do you do about that? Let's say you're Merrick Garland. What do you do 
about the fact that you're the top law enforcement officer in the country as attorney general, that's what he is. You know that you are just a lackey for other elites, but you also understand that this, this can't continue. This, this has got to stop. Something has to be done to at least stop the dissent. Hey, at least let's flatten it out, right? We got to stop the dissent. So what do you do? Well, a lot of people have this misconception, to take a little sidestep here, a lot of people have this misconception that in the communist Soviet Union that there was only one party. There was only the communists. You had to be part of the communist party or you couldn't be in it. You know, that, that's, not, that's actually not true. Did you know that there was an opposition party? There was. It was created by Stalin and the communists because Stalin and the communists understood this concept very well. You better give the people the illusion of choice. You better give the people, in the case of our Justice Department, the illusion of justice. If they're getting too disenfranchised, too angry, that anger level is getting just too hot, you would better find a way to toss them some bread and put on some circuses or you might find yourself in quite a pickle. Our rulers understand this the same way all corrupt rulers have understood this, which is why you're seeing what you're seeing now. The Trump raid. Trump raid was bad. Bad for the nation. Completely unjustified, but went ahead and ratcheted that anger level up even more. People watched 30 FBI agents storm into Mar-a-Lago, they really want, okay, are you going to find dead bodies there? And then remember that they were initially selling us that it was nuclear codes, and then that turned out to not be true, so they're just putting out weird pictures online. Then as well, you had classified documents, and everyone kind of looked around and said, wait, <coughs> you sent 30 FBI agents to his home for classified documents? What? I don't, hold on, you kicked out his lawyer? So that took the anger level up too high. But the system realized it had an opportunity. You see, the system has wanted rid of Joe Biden for a very, very, very long time. Joe Biden, at least for a year, year and a half, has driven the popularity of the Democratic Party down to dangerous levels. They don't concern themselves with popularity too much until it gets to dangerous levels. Joe Biden is such an old fool and a bitter jerk and just generally an unlikable idiot that he's going to hurt you if he's the face of the party. And then you have the midterms, they went, okay, okay, so now you're barely alive, but so is Joe Biden, he's barely alive. And now you need a fresh face for 2024, okay? So what this provided, the DOJ, was the perfect opportunity. You see, they could toss the masses some bread, give them a circus. At the same time, they can get rid of Joe Biden. You see, Merrick Garland, he gets to get up there now and give this speech, oh, the DOJ is not political. We do not have different rules for Democrats or Republicans, different rules for the powerful or the powerless, different rules for the rich or for the poor. We apply uh, the facts and the law in each case in a neutral, nonpartisan manner. Well, that's, of course, a lie, of course. Merrick Garland's DOJ has spent the last two years attacking every single Republican group, attacking basically only Republicans for the last two years. You see this guy, Richard Barnett, retired firefighter, the guy that was pictured putting his feet up on Nancy Pelosi's desk. He just got 20, well, he's facing 20 years in prison, 20 years in prison for that dumb stunt. Don't tell me there's no bias. Of course there's bias. Everyone can see it. That idiot got 20 years for putting his feet up on Nancy Pelosi's desk. In the meantime, communist street activists are outside of our Supreme Court justice homes breaking the law every single day. Here they are in front of Kavanaugh's house. They not rule the court. Cut his time short. A rapist should not rule the court. Cut his time short. A rapist should not rule the court. Cut his time short. A rapist should not rule the court. Gosh, that's brutal. Anyway, so what you're seeing now with this whole Pence has documents to Trump has documents, Biden has documents, Pence has documents. All you're seeing now is the system giving you some bread and circuses, trying to calm that anger down a little bit. That's why they're already, that's why all the swamp rats are already out there conflating the two now. Okay, Trump had them, Biden had them. Let's all just, let's all just be bipartisan and let it go. Here's the guy Trump just campaigned with in South Carolina, Lindsey Graham. What are your national security questions? I just, what was, you know, what are, same thing for Trump. I mean, 
why did you do it? What were in the documents? How were they held? Who had access to them? Um, well, let me just say this. I, I've known President Biden for a long time. I don't think there's, I, I would be shocked if there's anything sinister here. Of course, the swamp. Lindsey Graham is the swamp. Oh, no, I've known him for a long time. These people. Support the First TV today and get instant access to exclusive specials like Who is Ron DeSantis, The History of FBI Scandals, and America's Worst Presidents. Visit thefirsttv.com support or download the First TV app to become a supporter and start watching today.